and it's been another week. We are going to be talking about that effect today because it's something that we reference the making of quite often. I talked about it in the fundraising video. For the first time ever, we need to hire professionals to do our makeup effects. And then in one of the updates, we showed you the sculpting of Suede's face. Throughout this whole process, if there's like anything that's making you uncomfortable. And get as close in there as I can. They do everything in full detail. And now it's like solid, pretty much. It's all orange. So like, the nose is good. How's your head doing under there? Are you okay? Pop. <laughs> Beauty. It's a suede. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a lot of behind the scenes features, uh, actors getting alginate put on their faces and then Call cast up. Alginate? Yeah. That's great. And then cast up and everything. And I finally got to be there for it and how feel does it how. it smell? It smells fine. Okay. It feels weird. Yeah. It feels like slippery and gooey. Like after it's hard, it feels weird. Like silly putty dried? No, no. like much slipperier and gooier than that. First of all, I'm finding out how many preconceptions I already had about this process that I was unaware of. Second of all, I'm finding out how wrong they all are. <laughs> yeah. We've done like gory-ish effects in the show before. Going into After Effects and doing like a bulge effect like Ryan would do it But I wanted to do it for real this time I wanted to do like a full-on practical makeup effect because I think they are awesome and I think it turned out awesome <laughs> You saw us sculpting that face now the reason why you do that is so that she can make a plaster mold of Suede's face that she can do the sculpt on so that when she applies the sculpture that she creates onto his face it matches the dimensions that she was working on they're based on exactly his face so the woman who made that sculpt is a woman named Catherine Woods and she's a very talented makeup effects artist there's an email between us that has 86 responses as we talk about the various things that need for the effects so she sent me this like one makeup but I really wanted the jaw to be kind of like hanging lower than it should like hanging off I showed her a picture of suede, then she pulled together some drawings based on that. Then we went over and did the casting with the alginate. She was able to make the plaster cast of his face, and then she started sending me pictures of the sculpt. So you see his real lower lip is much higher, and then that's just covered and she blackens it out. So once she put that sculpt on his face, that's her putting it on an Urban Edge Gallery, which is in Waukegan, Illinois. If you ever get to Waukegan, David Motley, who uh, runs Urban Edge Gallery, he was so instrumental in making this entire alley sequence happen. That gallery is awesome and it's where we got to hang out in between shots, I've said it and I've said it. You can see like she blacks out his lip so that when he's lit from overhead you can't see that that, that darkness all fades into black so then it's just like half of his face is hanging off. Cut! <laughs> oh, <holy shit. laughs> It was just a lot of fun. We, we liked it a lot. Our email chain went from the beginning of February into May. So it's a long process getting that all set up. It's so worth it. I loved it. And then Suede, of course, <laughs> told me he went through the uh, drive through on the way home, pulled up to the window looking like that, which he said was a lot of fun. And then he sent me a video of him pulling it off. A couple other things. I've been meaning to mention this for weeks. I was on a podcast called Video Shop Podcast. They did an episode watching episodes one through nine. One of them had seen all of them, the other had not, and you kind of hear him experience them. And they reached out at the end of episode 10 and were like, hey, do you wanna do like an interview one? I said, yeah, it's a great, great talk. Over an hour of us talking about everything that went into episode 10, the writing process, the reasoning behind things, like really getting into it. The first 10 minutes are kind of like getting used to the experience and then from 10 minutes on, it's just like serious pops talk. I love it. That's the top link in the dubs. We'll take you to that one or you can find it probably on whatever podcast app you use. Video Shop Podcast out of Australia. And then I think I'm finally at the end of my long struggle with trying to get episode 10 properly color corrected up onto YouTube. Because I corrected it in DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't embed the correct color profile, and then I exported it from Final Cut Pro. That gets exported in a color profile that's called like Rec 701. Something like that. But 
uh, YouTube converts it into an sRGB. I created a little test file so that I could look at it over and over again. I pulled that into After Effects, went and I changed the color profile to sRGB, la 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 2.1, then that changes it immediately, but still I needed to adjust it so that once YouTube takes it, recompresses it, and kind of warps the colors so that it was still within a range that I felt was acceptable. You're gonna just use two elements here. You're gonna use level and you're gonna use hue saturation. I went in to levels and I jacked the gamma from one to 1.20, then the blacks get a little bit pulled up. So I went into the input black, 1000, bring them back down a little bit, just the blacks. Then you go into hue saturation, boom, not master, switch it to the reds, reds, negative 20. Okay, now it looks really washed out to us, but once uploaded to YouTube, it looks much closer to the original color correction that I had. And it only took a gajillion tests and a few weeks in my spare time of trying to figure out how to warp the system. I watched it on everything. I've got like a 5K monitor here on my laptop and on an iPad. It looks really good on an iPad. My cell phone, my TV. I finally found an export. This is the method that I think finally has it in a version that's watchable on whatever format people watch it on. So the full episode 10, looking much more as I wanted it to look, will be up shortly. I hope you guys have a good week. Check out that podcast if you want. There's a couple moments of very strong language, but we're all adults here, I assume. <laughs> Here's a really super peaceful Rob Scallon video that I edited. Really beautiful final shot. Here's another video, Pops logo. You guys have a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye.